So now we're going to try two different methods for cooling cheap beer quickly. Because cheap beer only tastes good if it's cold. And cheap beer is the best kind of beer, says I. Which doesn't surprise me coming from her. For our first method, we're going to put our cheap beer in the buckets. We're going to cover them with ice. We're going to pour water um, to submerge the beer. And now I'm going to add salt to accelerate the um, cooling. The melting. The melting. The salt makes the ice melt faster. We're using one cup of salt. It's not quite a margarita, but that's the idea. It's a beer garita. And for our next method, we're going to wrap a beer in a wet paper towel. Expert dipping. So we're going to wrap the beer in the paper towel and put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. And then we'll see which method makes it colder. I don't know if I can wait that long. We'll get you a little. Yeah, all right, got the shakes. So it's been 10 minutes and now we're going to measure the temperature of our two beer cooling methods. Just based on touch, I'm gonna to say that this one did not work very well. Well, let's see, let's crack them open. All right, put that in there. Oop, I'm down to 43 degrees, 42. Okay. It's going down. How about you? I'm at 73. <laughs> yeah, so this is good for like, if you wanted your beer to taste like a pleasant autumnal day. So our uh, ice bucket beer is down to 35 degrees. The, um, um, mine towel. bottomed out at 73.1. So, so that is a warm room temperature beer. Yeah, the paper towel didn't work for us. Not at all. Maybe we could have used something that would hold more water so it would have gotten colder, possibly. Yeah, I don't know. What's that over there? Oh, <laughs> all right. Oh Cheers. my gosh, Cheers. a warm beer. <laughs> Bottoms up. <laughs> hmm, I don't know how that happened. Mmm, perfectly 73 degrees. Tastes like my childhood.